Um, I will tell you on your test, you will have a problem like number one and two. Okay, so I would highly write yourself somewhere a note. That's a different type of substitution. You don't put that in. Um, and then problem three and four are another type of substitution. Okay, and so the process is going to be a little bit different. It's the same, but um, so substitution, we need to solve for y. Okay, that's the whole goal. You got to get y equals on one of the equations, and then you plug it into the other equation. Okay, and so really you want to label these. So we're going to say number one and number two. We have two equations. Okay, we need to solve one of them for y equals. Is one of them already y equals? Yeah, and so that's what makes this one a certain type. And so you can go ahead and circle this, and we plug it into where? Where does that get plugged into? It's plugged into the other one. Okay, so this one we're using equation two, that means I need to use equation one. And we're gonna plug it in everywhere there's a y. Okay, and so I got two x plus six y equals negative 10. And instead of y, I'm plugging in, um, I got two x plus six, and I'm gonna put parentheses, and I'm really writing this stuff. So negative three x plus nine. Okay, that's my y, it still says the same thing. Two and x, six, and instead of y, I wrote this. Those are equivalent, okay? Equals negative 10. The only thing that I changed about this equation from the top equation is everywhere there's a y, I put in parentheses, okay? And so now I need to solve for x. And so what would my next step be? Starts with a d, let's distribute. Okay, and so we're gonna have um, 2x minus 18x, and then six times nine is gonna be positive 54. Okay, what's our next step? We're using 54 times. Nine times six. Um, what's our next step? Huh? Yeah, you, we need to add our um, like terms. And so I can put this two and this 18 together to give me a negative 16x plus 54 equals negative 10. Okay, what's our next step? Subtract 54 from both sides. Okay, and so I'm gonna have negative 16x equals negative 64. What's our next step? Okay, so we're gonna divide by negative 16, divide by negative 16. X equals four. Okay, where does that get plugged into? Huh? The x's, but where? The one that we circled above, okay? And so if, I have to scroll, but if we look up here, I have one circled way up here. And so really, what we need to do is plug this one in to the one we have circled there, okay? And you see how you got a circle and an arrow up, a circle and an arrow up. Your substitution should connect like that on your paper, okay? Um, if you're drawing arrows like mine, okay, um, I have two arrows and two things circle, okay? You kind of work your way up with substitution. And so I really have y equals negative three x plus nine. And what am I plugging in for x? Four. So I got y equals negative three times four plus nine. Okay, so I'm gonna have y equals negative 12 plus nine. Okay, which is gonna be y equals negative three. Mm -hmm. So we gotta write the coordinates. Be four negative three. Okay, 
look at problem three. Problem three is the second type of substitution. Daddy, with me? Look like he's going. Okay, um, so this is the other type of substitution where we have to um, solve one of the equations for y. Okay, it does not matter which one you solve for y, just pick one and solve it for y. Okay, and so um, which one do you want to do? Equation one or equation two? Because none of them say y equals. Two, I guess. You're going to do two? Yeah. Okay. Seven. Um, this one's not the best problem because you're going to get fractions either way. But So I got equation two, 7x plus 4y equals negative 24. Okay, how do I get y by itself? What do I need to do first? I gotta subtract the x's. So I'm gonna have 4y equals, can I put these together? I can't, so it's gonna have to say negative 24 minus 7x. What's our next step? We're trying to solve for y. So what is on y side that needs to be moved? The four. So I gotta divide everything by four. Okay, you can't just divide one piece by four, you gotta divide everything. And so what happens here is they cancel we're gonna have y equals, so negative 24 divided by four is gonna be negative six. And then you're gonna have minus seven over four x. And unfortunately that sucks because um, you're, no matter which equation you chose on this one, you're gonna have to deal with fractions. Um, and that's bad picking on my part, but that's okay. Okay, and so now I have one equation solved for y equals, and what equation were we working with? Yeah, we were working with equation two. And so really what I'm gonna do down here, because I think it's gonna benefit you a little bit. Have we changed anything with equation one? No. And so I'm gonna write down here equation one. God bless America. Okay, so because we haven't changed anything with equation one, I got equation one um, and it is, x plus 3y equals negative 18. What is our equation 2 now? Okay, well now our equation 2 looks like y equals negative 6 minus 7 over 4x. Those are our two, not new, but rearranged equations. Okay, and so now this looks exactly like what you had on the front page, okay? And so we have one solved for y equals, and so you need to circle it, and we're gonna plug it into the equation above. What are you looking for? Well, go to the nurse. Um, okay, and so now we can say um, x plus 3, and instead of y, I'm writing negative 6 minus 7 over 4x equals negative 18. Okay, what's our next step? Distribute. Distribute. Okay, and this is a fraction one, so you gotta use a calculator, but, um, so I'm gonna distribute. So I got x minus 18, um, and three times negative seven over four is gonna be negative 21 over four x equals negative 18. What's your next 